What is going on guys, Bisectatron here, bringing you today's video and don't blink because the first pro trick is starting right now. Spreading out your lightning spells to take out multiple defenses as you take out the queen. Check this out, two lightning spells, damage the queen, take out the air sweeper, then the others coming down to take out the queen and then damage the expo and the clan castle and the other air sweeper making it so that instead of only getting a pretty good amount of value, there was a ton of value gotten. Had all seven lightning spells been dropped in one place, wouldn't have been able to get both air sweepers plus the expo, plus the CC, plus the queen like he did. But based on where the queen was, he dropped those lightning spells to follow her, two in one spot when she's near one air sweeper, the rest in another spot, um, and it was a really cool, effective way. So rewind this video if you have to, to uh, to really make sure you, you understood what happened there. But this is just one of a couple cool tricks we're looking at today in this video, giving you guys some things you can use in your attacks, um, which are some very high level sneaky things that a lot of clans are not gonna be suspecting uh, with their bases. So this was a very good opener to the attack. Once the clan castle has been neutralized, is able to use the king and queen up at the top there to take out the town hall, get some other value, and then the Lalo can start from there. Great freeze value on the eagle and the inferno tower. Everything's gonna move through, and with the help of some of these ground-only expos, it's gonna be pretty easy breezy through the rest of the base with this Lalo. Hope you guys like the setup, um, continuing with the face cam. Had some good feedback in the comments. I haven't made any changes to it yet for the most part, but I'm gonna make a few uh, changes when I get a chance and make the, uh, the, the setup and the interface as optimal as it can be. Uh, but appreciate all the, uh, the thoughts on the last video. Um, definitely love to go through the comments, see what you guys are thinking. Anyway, uh, nice Warden's ability at the end here to cover those last few defenses. This one will wrap up. We will move on to the next video. So yeah, if you have a bunch of buildings um, near the queen, but they're not quite all close enough to get them all with one lightning drop, sneaky thing to do, drop a couple. Uh, if there's a relatively low hit point building, you wanna get down like the air sweeper, drop like two of them on the air sweeper when the queen's there. You get the air sweeper down, you get the queen lower, then you can drop your others uh, in a different location to take out other buildings so you can get uh, multiple different buildings taken out along with the queen even if they're not all right next to each other just by virtue of the queen moving uh, as she does. Okay, let's move on to the next attack and I have to double check where I have the attacks written down here. Um, we are looking at number five here. Gonna hop back up. This is something that's gonna be Town Hall 13 only but this is going to be immensely helpful if you are a Town Hall 13 facing this type of base, which I, uh, if you're a Town Hall 13, you see this type of base all the time. We're talking about a very central Town Hall. That is what defines this type of base. Um, but it has other features like kind of an offset eagle. It might have these kind of islands with inferno towers, and islands with uh, scatter shots. But the main thing is that central town hall, and one of the best attack strategies is going to be a Lalo. And in this case, using the Sui heroes, you can do different types of openers, but one of the best strategies is using the battle blimp to take out the town hall, because nothing else is going to path near it. As you're doing your Lalo, it'll go very nicely through the rest of the base, but it won't go that nicely into the town hall to actually take out the most important building uh, on the base. So what do you do? You bring the battle blimp, of course. Now, the key here is what is inside the battle blimp, and you guys will see that in just a moment here um, as the Lalo starts. With these uh, nice level six Lava Hounds definitely help make this kind of a go-to to, to uh, take out this type of base at Town Hall 13. Good value from all heroes, uh, king, queen, and on the other side had the real champion. Here comes the battle blimp coming through, uses the warden's ability to kind of protect it on its way to the town hall, as well as protect the balloons from the scatter shot. Check it out, what's in here? A lava hound, but what else? You can't really even see them. Well, check it out, there's five sneaky goblins in there, and that is enough to kill the town hall. So what's really going on here is instead of bringing like balloons and having them all die when the town hall explodes, you're basically bringing a free lava hound because the sneaky goblins are so good at taking out the town hall. Just five of them, 15 troop space, can take out the town hall 
leaving you with 30 troop space for other stuff. And of course, the best choice is going to be a Lava Hound because it will um, just run to the nearest air defense and join the fight with your Lalo. So definitely look to use this against this type of base if you have access, of course, to those sneaky goblins, which hopefully you do from your clan mates. You can get some great value um, and really neutralize some bases that would otherwise be might, might be a little bit tricky to take out. And I know you guys have seen this type of base in your uh, clan war league wars. Okay, let us move on to a couple more. I'm going to take a look now at number 10. This one is something that I felt like I needed to show. It's not necessarily like a huge uh, tricky technique, but it's something that I see a lot of attackers don't do. And if you already know how to do this technique, great for you. Um, it's something that you should be doing to make sure that you make it as easy as possible for your queen to deal with a lava hound in the clan castle on the queen charges. Um, it has to do with how you drop your poison spell. One thing people often do is they drop the poison spell too early or too late. So this is the right time to drop your poison spell. Lava Hound comes out. No matter what else is in the is in the clan castle, you want to wait till the Lava Hound gets somewhat low here before you drop the poison spell. <clears throat> Excuse me. That way, the queen can take out um, the Lava Pups, but also the poison spell takes out the lava pups. If you panic and drop your poison too early, what's going to happen is the lava pups are not going to be taken out by the poison. It'll run out and then it'll take your queen a very long time to take down those lava pups. Now you might be tempted if you see 15 additional archers run out with the lava hound to poison those archers right away, but your queen is most likely going to lock on to the lava hound anyway, so it's not really costing her any time because she's not taking out each individual archer until she takes out the lava hound. Um, and the archers don't do much damage. Same thing with like a witch, goblins, whatever the case may be. Um, you want to save the poison, um, especially with archers. Goblins might be a little different because they'll be in front of the lava hound. But by and large, you want to save the poison to the lava hound is about a third HP then drop it, it'll kill whatever else is accompanying the Lava Hound, whether it's a baby dragon, whether it's archers, um, whether it's a witch, those are the most common. It'll kill that as well as the Lava Pups, so you won't waste any time, you'll actually be saving time. Felt like I had to throw that in this video just to kind of give you guys that piece of information if it's something you haven't been you know, thinking about actively already. Anyway though, this ended up being a Queen Charge Lalo. Um, Lalo is definitely strong right now at uh, a lot of these Town Hall levels. And you can see this base will get wrapped up here as these uh, last few balloons converge. One more attack, kind of a bonus attack. Um, just wanted to throw one more in this video for you guys. Um, not necessarily any specific tip, but let's see what we're looking at here. This is number 31. It is a lightning spell minor combo and this is something I like at Town Hall 11 and also Town Hall 10. The uh, idea was to take out the eagle in the clan castle. Great value already. Um, that is for almost any, I'd say any attack. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, that is some insane value. You can pair that with Lalo, dragons, hogs, miners. The combinations are endless almost. Um, but I really like this for Town Hall 10 and 11 because once those are down, the Eagle especially, if you're a Town Hall 11, it's a lot easier to kind of let the miners just sweep through the base because the, there's not going to be enough damage on the base. There's no scatter shots. There's not a lot of that high level uh, defenses at Town Hall 12 even that will take out the miners. They're pretty dominating at these uh, semi-low Town Hall levels. And um, you can see here... Going to get some more value with the king and the queen um, with the help of that super wall breaker use. And then here come the miners. Siege barracks on the opposite side, of course, for the funnel. Only has two heals, but that's you know typically all you need for a minor attack, especially with the help of the Grand Warden there um, getting the use of his tome. So we will go times two. One to show this as an example of another way you can pair the lightning spell uh, with a different attack strategy. And guys, if you're a base builder out there, make sure that you are not putting your eagle, your clan castle, near your queen, near each other, near Inferno Towers. 
Um, you got to be really careful these days with lightning spell value. It's one of those things where if you know how to defend it, it's really easy to defend. There's nothing the attacker can do. It's either there or it's not. So don't have it be there on your base. Anyway, thanks for watching this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. And I will see you next time uh, with a slightly different setup, but um, still the face cam. Hope you've been liking that. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoy my content, consider supporting the channel by entering my creator boost code, Bisect, in the settings tab of your game, and keep in mind it occasionally resets and must be re-entered. Click or tap for another video and be sure to subscribe. See you all next time, Bisectatron out.